welcome or welcome back to angels world today i'll be just doing a little mini chit chat to you about letting god fight your battles even when you feel like you got these hands and you can do it yourself <laughs> sometimes it's best to just allow god to fight that battle and i am not just speaking of a physical fight but a spiritual fight um and this fight can be with your family your husband your wife um girlfriend boyfriend um at work with a boss or a co-worker your sister your brother your cousin a stranger in the grocery store we have to learn how to control ourselves how to conduct ourselves so that people when they see you even if you have a cross around your neck or not they will know that you are his people and that has been a struggle for me my whole life and today was kind of like this little mini wake up haul for me mini wake up haul <laughs> mini wake up call um when i received a call from someone very very special for me um very very special to me and they spoke on something that happened about a year ago and they said that god spoke to them they think god spoke to them because they're still still in this phase where they're not sure if it's god but it's god he's speaking and he's going to speak more because they're listening more. But um, this particular person spoke of an incident that happened. And I would like to think that I didn't voice how I felt about the situation. But I know me, and more than likely I did voice it. Uh, it just probably went on deaf ears, which is a bad thing, but not really. Because sometimes people don't receive what you say well, because it can be how you voice your opinion your facial expressions and things like that can take away from the sincerity or the hurt or the pain you may feel or even if you're saying something out of love everything plays a factor in that the way you um display what you're trying to say um if you're rolling your eyes and you're saying i love you people are not going to take that sincerely so maybe i didn't say it in a sincere manner for them to understand um exactly my feelings on that matter but God took care of it and it's it, it our time is not God timing so if it was your and my time it has nothing to do with God and what he had planned on doing he had plans on fighting that battle rather it would have been 10 years from now and I thought that was just pretty cool and it made me smile because to hear that person apologize for something that they did a year ago was confirmation that God is God and when he says he's going to fight your battles he means it and it doesn't have to be something physical it doesn't have to be something huge it could be something as small as what this person called me and told me but it was confirmation that I'm here and I'm going to take care of everything trust in me trust in me you don't have to understand it don't lead on your own understanding but trust in the Lord oh that's my favorite Bible verse but I wanted to read something to you guys. I have the Tony Evans Bible, and I love this Bible. And sorry about the lighting. It is, I'm using natural light right now, and the sun is coming up and down. And I'm trying to make this video before my husband makes it home. Um, and while the kids are semi-quiet. But I have this Bible, and I, will, I already have a, a video, or the video will be coming very soon. I don't know if I'm going to put this video up first before that one, but we'll see. But I have, I filmed a video already about this Bible and why I love it so much and why you should probably check it out. Um, but do your due diligence. Don't just go out spending your money. Do your due diligence and see if this is a good Bible. But to me, I love this Bible. So in this Bible, they have hope words. So it's like little messages that Tony Evans sprinkled throughout this Bible, which I love. So um, this video was actually intended for exactly what it is right now, but... I couldn't really think of a scripture to match it with and we all know that the lord will fight your battle but where is it in the bible i'm not sure and i don't want to cheat and google it and all that stuff so i wanted to go to find something that um resonated with me so i started just strolling through the bible and i came across hebrews chapter 11 verse 11 11 11 y'all i've been seeing that number everywhere I've been seeing 1111 11 everywhere for almost maybe three, four months, maybe five months now. Yes, 1111 11 and 444. I do not believe in angel numbers, but I do believe 
and God showing you the signs and things to get your attention. I do believe in that, but I'm not talking about an angel number, okay? So, all right. So, let me read the scripture to you guys. By faith, even Sarah herself, when she was unable to have children, received power to conceive offspring, even though she was past the age, since she considered that the one who had promised was faithful. God is faithful. He's the one. He's the one making the promises. And if it's somebody else making a promise, then you it can be kind of so so. You you're not you can you can have a little doubt in man, but you cannot have doubt in God. Oh my goodness. Maybe. Yes. So this is the hope word. Let me read the whole word to you. The opposite of faith is not doubt. The opposite of faith is disobedience. I ain't got no mic to drop. I dropped the water. Isn't that good? You guys. And I'm sorry I'm ashy. The opposite of faith is not... I forgot that fast. <laughs> the opposite of faith is not doubt. It's not doubt. So if you're doubting God, that's not the opposite of faith. The opposite of faith is when you disobey God. Disobedience. I don't know about you, y'all, but... God has been telling me to do a lot of things. And once he, once he told me to do something and I did it and I was like, I'm going to do it, God. He was like, okay, now we're on a roll because I need you to do this, 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 and this. And I was like, what? And I'm delaying blessings because I'm taking my time and doing these steps because I feel like if I go slow with this step, he won't tell me to do the next step. I know that sounds crazy, y'all. But it's true. And I needed to hear that. I needed this hope word. Thank you, Tony Evans. If you ever see this video, thank you for making this Bible. I love this Bible. But yeah, the opposite of faith is not doubt. The opposite of faith is disobedience. So, have faith that God is going to fight those battles. No matter how big or small they are. No matter how big or small they are. He's going to fight it. He's going to do it in his time. Not yours. So, if 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 that if you feel like that person just out living life and they don't even care about your feelings or what they did or how they did it or whatever, how big it may be, because we go through some pretty, pretty harsh things. Trust me, I know. Trust me. Um, I just started thinking about my family and the things that we just went through. Um, but believe and trust that God has it covered. He got it. He got it. He has it. Now, I'm not telling you to, you know, keep letting someone do the same thing over and over again if you have the opportunity to to separate yourself from that person and not deal with that person anymore. If that's what God is leading you to do, then do it. But as far as holding a grudge, y'all, the Holy Spirit just be talking to me because I am in the midst of holding some, some things. <laughs> so he's letting me know to let it go. Um, not necessarily um, a grudge or um, not allowing yourself to forgive. To actually pump the brakes on the process of forgiving someone because you just feel like they don't deserve it. Don't do that because God is looking at you like, oh, and you do. We don't. So, oh, I just had a whole mini sermon. Holy Spirit just got me all the way together when he was supposed to be telling, let me tell y'all something. He just straight up told me something. So, let me get off this thing and work on this forgiveness that I haven't gave yet. But, just want to let you guys know, God got it covered. He got it covered and have faith. Have faith. And when he tell you to do something, do it. When he tell you don't do something, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Okay. We got, we, we got this. Be kind, be you, be blessed, be the best bread and master you can be for Jesus Christ. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and all that good old jazz because it's free. All right, go out and spread the word of God. That's your job. Bye.